Conjugate Nation Chapter 2. It's a stressful week. I got a puppy, so I've been on puppy patrol the last seven days, but we got some good training in here. Steve, 300 for two. I think he could have got at least two or three more if he had a spot uh, driving up through the top of the lift. I changed my days around. I have max effort days now. Monday, I worked at the football bar on the floor press uh, on grip three, which is the outside grip. It was definitely a tough bar to pick because it always gives me a little bit of an issue. So I did some back down sets uh, on grip two, 225 for three sets of six. Really puts a lot of stress on the elbows, on the, the lockout. And um, those of you who are looking to get away from maybe straight bar benching for a little bit, football bar is a great option. Here's another changeup that you can get into. Here's Kyle's bench with the cambered bar, uh, 280 for five. He's building some tremendous power off his chest. Um, and, and it's making the movement longer. So, I mean, even his triceps are getting extra work. He's been using this for about three weeks now. So, we'll see what he does with a straight bar in a couple weeks. Here's my uh, dynamic effort speed day, or squat day. <clears throat> I did 215 for 5x5. Five five. These are brutal. 5 times 5 is just it's just a lot, you know. By four reps, or sets four and five, you know, you're pretty, you're pretty fatigued, especially with keeping the rest periods at about a minute. Like I was, it was just, it was wearing me down. My dog's in the back there in the corner. His name's Duke. He, uh, he's the new gym mascot. He was a good boy most of the week. Today, Sunday, he gave me a little bit of an issue, but these are just some banded good mornings. I superseded them with the banded RDLs, um, with that wide stance that I've been doing every other week. I do feel that it's, it's carrying over into my squat and my deadlift, those two main movements. But here's Steve's 470 for one on his pool day. He wasn't happy with the way it felt, but I think it looked pretty strong. Moving into Kyle's, he had 465 for five. He's using a little bit of a better bar now. Kyle does a great job getting some external rotation on his knees and really putting the stress into his glutes and his hamstring as, as opposed to all on his lower back. Um, I, I don't know where he, maybe it's, it's mobility through his ankles that he does a good job with or he has uh, I just don't here's 500 looked really good I thought it was a nice clean fast rep and they followed it up with uh, 300 for three sets of two on the front squat coming up you have Tyler uh, he's down at Lebanon Valley College he um, first time he pulled 500 and it looked really nice it looked really smooth so here it is uh, he's got everybody I think it may have been testing day or something but he drives up through, locks it out, and he was definitely jacked up about it. We're going to test him out in a couple weeks once he gets back from school. And we're going to see if we can hit some um, some PRs over the summer. My speed day was eight sets of five with 135. Just doubled up the mini bands. Here's a hammer strength. I believe it's like a floor press machine, but I use it for rows. I take some of the um, Jim Wendler principles of the boring but big, and I constantly try to um, add, add the... I don't know, that mindset into my accessory work. So I do five sets of 10 on those, five sets of 10 on um, on my extension work, five sets of 10 on curls. Anything I do, I, I try to I go by his principles on accessory work. I think it's a good framework. Here's Kyle's squat day, 410 for five. He also did uh, banded rack pulls after this around about an inch below knees with 405 and some mini bands, but I, my computer wouldn't upload it or something. So I'll try to get them out next week. But he does a real good job driving up through. He changed the bar up a little bit. He took off the handles of his safety squat bar. I'm not sure why, but it's a different variation because now he loses. He's got to find a way to keep that tightness in his lower back. So it's, it's a simple way of changing it up a little bit. Here's my dad. First time box squatting in his life here, so uh, it, the form's not great. But he did a nice job. He had four of, or one. 40 here plus 80 pound of chain for a double. We got the band on his knees to uh, remind him to drive his knees out. And then we hit um, some block pulls with him. Two sets of one at 315. He said he felt good. He thought everything engaged in the lower back and the glutes and the hamstrings. So we know we're hitting the right spots. Here's my max effort day. We worked up uh, with the camber bar and some chain weight. Here's 410 for one. This felt good. Felt smooth. Um, definitely felt like I had more in the tank because last week I ended up hitting 480, 
ish or 490 ish 485 or something with straight weight so i bumped it up went 440 plus 80 pound of chain this 530 at the top i was happy that i handled the weight but i got shifted forward onto my toes right there and uh but i grinded it out i think that's a testament to my accessory work with the banding good mornings a lot of reverse hypers things like that that i didn't cave so the back stayed flat and i didn't i didn't quit on it I followed it up with uh some rep work in the deadlift this is the first time I opened my my uh, grip up. Supinated, I don't know what, a, what word it is, but normally I've been going double overhand for the past about six weeks, building some grip work, and I'm a little tentative because my biceps been bothering me, but it felt good. I'm going to work up maybe the next couple of weeks and try to hit a, uh, a single, but have a good week. Stay safe, stay strong.